Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the War Thunder live gameplay series. So you may have seen in my last video, if you watched until close to the end, I shot at a M4 Sherman with the cast hull, hit around here with it. This dude's out here sitting in the bushes. Cast hull Sherman, freaking retarded armor on that thing. And there also should be a link popping up in the corner to go check out that video. Oops. Before we continue on, if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend it. It's on the new French Panther. But for today, we're going to be taking out the M4 Sherman with the 76 because, in my opinion, this is one of the best Shermans in the game. This Sherman, the only other Shermans that I would say are better than this would be the FL-10 and the SA-50. Those are the only two Shermans that I consider to be better than this tank right here. Maybe, maybe the first Sherman. This thing's very good as well, but from my experience, this is just an absolute monster of a machine. You can just kind of look at... It doesn't have, like, good armor stats on paper, but in-game, I don't know. I just tend to bounce so many rounds with this. It's just... The sloping combined with the little add-on parts of the armor there. I mean, if you get shot in this area, it's going to be a pen regardless, but the armor on this thing is surprisingly good, especially if you continue moving around while you play it. So, But without any further uh, waffling on about random things that nobody cares about, let's just get some gameplay. Advance to the Rhine in a 5-3 matchup. We're going to be looking to get down into this area. I tend to try to push down and play aggressively on this spot because if you can break through, you can get in and get to the flank. If I play from the other side, I'll either push up to this corner or lately I've been pushing up and cutting right into this area and then you can kind of go around. The Advance of the Rhine is a bit of a tricky map to play. You can also play it from the other side, but I just lately have not been doing that as much. Let's go ahead and call some arty right on that corner because usually tanks tend to park up there at one point or another. Oh. So you got some tanks moving up. All right, very nice. That's why we check our corners, kids. Again, that's why you check your corners. Although I do think that guy knew I was there. He just was not paying attention. Now, one of the strengths of this vehicle, for sure, ooh, is the stabilizer that it has this bump stop stabilizer gives you the ability to pull off wow that okay we barreled him pull off a lot of shots that other tanks just would not be capable of doing because you can come around the corner Ooh. you can come around the corner slam on the brakes and your gun stays pointed where you aimed it so it really really is helpful Man, where are the Germans at? I expected to be running into a lot of Tigers. Didn't expect just a pure team of T-34s. Guess this worked out in our favor, though. Made short work of them on that flank. Now that we've broken through, we're going to try to sweep in on the flank. Should be able to get some kills. What are you doing, Jumbo? Ah, no good. Bad shot. Yeah, that's one of the, the main disadvantage of trying to go up that flank. Oh, and we have a backup. The main disadvantage of trying to do that is you end up driving side onto their spawn. To counter that, you can cut back towards A, but we control A, so there's really no point in doing that. Mm. Well, seeing as how we pretty much cleaned up that flank and we got some jumbos sitting over kind of spawn camping them up, oh, uh, retract that statement. Pfft, okay. I was going to say we'll go play the mid, but apparently there's an Arl who thinks he can cap my objective. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't about to do that, pal. Ain't about to let you do that, alright? You get out of here. Go on back to your French comrades. Tell them, tell them I sent you. Oh, I guess I should probably cap this objective, shouldn't I? Alright. Frozen pass, and this time we're top tier. 
Why on earth? Oh. <laughs> Apparently in all the time that I've played this vehicle, I've unlocked all these camouflages, but I don't even have the winter camo yet. American tanks just have like a ridiculous number of camouflages that you can unlock. Like I would go through games with this thing and I would end up unlocking like two or three camouflages from one match. I mean, like, I'd only get, like, six kills, and I'd just unlock two or three camos, because they take so... There's such a small gap in between them for unlocking the next one. It just was surprisingly easy. But anyways, Frozen Pass. How do I play this map? I don't really know. I don't get it that often. I'm getting it a lot more recently. Like, I, I got it for... A lot of low tier stuff but they've swapped up with the new update um they swapped up what ranks you get certain maps at by a lot plus with the map filter that's also adjusting what maps are seen so it's kind of you're seeing a lot of maps that i haven't seen in a while which is nice i still don't really know how much i believe that the map filter is actually doing but uh i mean i guess it's better than not having one Remains to be seen if it actually does what they say it does. I've heard people say that it's definitely eliminating or causing them to not get maps that they downvoted, but like, I went and downvoted a bunch of maps when I was going to record for that Panther video, and then I just kept getting the ones that I downvoted, so. Like I said, remains to be seen how effective it actually is. Well, it appears that there was nothing. I say this as I roll around the corner straight into like a Dicker Max or something, but you know. Gotta learn. Gotta learn the hard way every time. Alright, what is going on down here? Stug finally died. Oh, a Churchill. Only the gunner. Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have shot that. Luckily be- oh dear, oh dear. Luckily because that Churchill's firing up into us, the angle of our plate is increased, which is going to make it really hard for him to actually do anything. Alright, that guy should die. I don't know if I'm- am I the only one who's been noticing, like, post-pen damage is, like, really weird after the new patch? Like, I don't know if they change something, but it just really feels like- some of my shots that prior to the patch would have done a lot of damage just do nothing. Like, if you had watched my stream the other day, I was like getting side shots into Panzer IVs in the French Panther, and it was like killing only half their crew. Which I mean, I guess it's it could have to do with somewhat with shot placement, but it just oh that's right, my gunner's dead. It was just very weird. Yeah, I, I didn't realize my gunner was dead because I'm used to having a red ring when my gunner dies, but for some reason they decided to just remove that. You know, just just go ahead and take that right out of the game. Okay, that guy seems to be being engaged. Let's try to use our... Yep, nice. Get the stabilizer up. Able to snapshot that guy coming over the hill. Let's go try to get up into the hill over here. We'll keep our gun facing over here because, like I said... This has that bump stop stabilizer, so if someone pops up, I'll slam on the brakes, get the stabilizer, and then just snapshot them on the move. Oh, like, like I said, just like that. A lot of people don't take advantage of this stabilizer. That's why I'm harping on it so much, because I can't tell you how many times I see people just keep rolling along and try to fire on the move. Just stop and fire. It's much, much, like you, you think that you're exposing yourself and you are, if there's multiple opponents, but if there's only one or maybe two and they're not both aiming at you, you're not really risking too much to stop because you can just immediately start moving again. Or even if you slow down, because if you get down to above like, or you get down below I think 15 kilometers an hour it is, the stabilizer activates. It's a low speed stabilizer. Just experiment with it. Try it in a test drive, maybe a custom battle if you really want to get fancy, or just use it in regular games. I think you'll be surprised. Where is this guy at? Oh. <laughs> Basically in our spawn. Okay. Alright. 
Welcome to the final battle of this episode, most likely, unless I get just completely trashed within the first, like, minute of the game, because I forgot to add more backups. But, uh, we drew Tunisia from the hat of, uh, maps, so let's see what we can do. Last game, not too bad. We did alright, but, uh, you know. You get caught by someone who you just least expect in a random position. There's not really much anybody can do. It's, it's just how you die. What do I... I don't understand the rock area on this map. Like, what is this? It's like, I don't know. I guess it's just to make it difficult, right? Let's see. We might be able to... Yeah, we can scramble up over this. We have American suspension, so we can basically climb anything. Let's, uh... We're gonna go set up along this ridge over here and try to catch anybody coming along on this flank. Because you tend to get people right when they hit there. Because they try to come around and get into that road right there. Plus, you can counter-snipe anybody that tries to get up on this ridge line. And especially considering we're up against the Germans... It's likely they may have at least one or two people who do that. Or they'll just all lemming train. This is low tier. It's pretty unpredictable, honestly. You can never really uh, know what to expect. Guess we ought to reposition. Doesn't really look like... Oh! Oh, an SA-50. Okay, this... This could cause us issues. That SA-50 is going to make our armor look like... Uh, like microwaved butter. Where is this boy? He had to have a line of fire on the guy in the river, which means he's probably. I don't know. This is a bit sketchy. Oh! He might actually be behind us. There's that T 34. Oh, yeah. I'll bet you the SA 50 is back that way. Alright, we need to, uh, get out of the open ground. This is really bad positioning right now. Try to zip across, get up into these rocks over here. Try to give our team some cover. Looks like we're kind of crumbling along the flank. Let's get some more already on A. Oh. Well, that was, that... Well, now that just doesn't make any sense. Oh, never mind. It's a T-34. Of course it does. <laughs> Are you joking, bro? There it is. Alright, now we need to go very quickly, because if we can get this rock between us and their spawn, we'll be covered. Oh, that was a Chinese T-34. Dang. Did not expect to run into any of them. I did see that they had Chinese on their team. So, so I don't I don't know why I didn't expect it. It's just new, you know? Just a new thing. New thing to see. <laughs> I'm not sure... He must have taken some Z-Quill before starting this battle. That's all I'm saying. Alright. We want to move very fast, and we want to get up and we want to clear the bridge landing. So that our team can get across. Because they're being held up by whatever's sitting up here. Which is... Drum roll, please. KV-1S. Just put him down. Put down his Chinese chaffy friend. Oh dear. Okay, thank you, American armor. Okay, we'll put it into his turret just to guarantee the kill. I would have gone for the front plate, but like the ballistics on this gun are really good, but at that angle, I just don't want to risk it. The turret cheeks in that thing are so weak. And if we just knock out his breach, it doesn't matter if we have to fire a second shot. I'm working on it. 
All right, so those kills cleared up the bridge. Our boys got across. Now we can cap the point. This is the type of thing... I'm just kind of narrating what's going on because I want to try to help you guys to see sort of my thought process while I'm playing a match. Even This isn't stuff that I necessarily even think of for, like... I, I don't even consciously think of this stuff. This is just kind of what's going through my head unconsciously while I play the match. I'm just trying to bring forward what I'm thinking at all times so you guys can kind of learn from it, maybe. Or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, we do not want to sit here anymore because we are getting pounded by every form of ranged uh, support that we can be if pounded by, so... We want to try to put some completely solid cover. Oh, and a mosquito suicide bomb me. Alright, well, not much we could have done against that, but I mean, seven kills in that vehicle, I'd say that's pretty sufficient. Alright, so I do hope you guys enjoyed that video showing off the uh, capabilities of this. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. I don't know, let me know in the comments. And also, let me know what vehicle you'd like to see next. I'm just going to try to do more of like a whatever I feel like playing slash whatever you guys want me to play because uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of running out of things to do. So let me know what you'd like to see next and I'll catch you with whatever that ends up being.